Hi everybody, Mr. Campbell here. Welcome virtual learners or anybody that just went home and decided they wanted more badminton. Um, we are going to be talking about the serve. That's the first week what we cover and actually partly into the second week, especially depending on what grade level you are at. Now we can't play a game of badminton if we can't serve. So the serve is very important. And it, the most important thing to remember is the serve in badminton must be under the waist. So you're hitting in an upward direction, not like in tennis where you toss the ball up and serve overhand, uh, although there are a couple of players that once in a while sneak in an underhand serve in tennis. But in badminton it needs to be below the waist. And actually the rules state that it has to be from the bottom of the rib cage. So the waist, not exactly at your waist, a little bit above the waist, but it needs to be there. Now it can be backhand or forehand. Normally we start with just a basic forehand, underhand serve. So that's what I want you to work on at the beginning. Once you're more advanced, we can talk about a backhanded serve like this. That's what a lot of pros use. And we can also work on more of a drive. Uh, it puts it to the back of the service court on the other side where you're actually swinging more. Remember, we talk about more of just a basic underhand flick, forehand flick, okay? Now, remember also in badminton when you're serving, it needs to be diagonal. So if you're playing doubles, which we will in Phi Ed, you're gonna have your partner over here, I'm on this side, and then the net's gonna be up. Now the net in badminton is five feet, one inches high, which is taller than most of you. So it's probably about right to here, uh, I would guess. So remember, when you're practicing this at home, if you've got a racket and a birdie, that you wanna make sure that you're at least hitting it up over five feet high. Um, and just try and do your best to guess. But if you're hitting it like this, that's not gonna be over five feet high. So just do your best. Now diagonal means that, let's say, that bucket is my opponent, and this hula hoop is my partner, and then the hula hoop over there is the other team, and the bucket is the other team. Well, when I'm serving from this side, I wanna make sure that I'm serving to that side of the court over there. Otherwise, if it goes to this person on this side, it's not a valid serve, okay? That means it's not a good serve. Now, when we practice at home, here's the basic things that I want to refresh your memory with, okay? When we pinch the birdie, always do it in the same way. That way, if you're holding it like this, sideways, it's gonna fall in a different direction, different way every time, slightly different, which makes it harder to hit. Okay, so pinch it with your pointer finger and your thumb right here on the birdie. If everyone can see that, got a good view of that, what that looks like, okay, good job. Then with the racket, we're gonna shake hands with the racket when it's like this. And it's gonna travel and it makes the racket go right into this upside down V or U on my hand, okay? Then we're holding the racket properly. Now you can choke up on the racket a little bit and that just means you're putting your hand closer towards the face of the racket. So instead of holding it way down here, I can slide it up like that. Gives you more control. There's a lot of wrist movement in badminton, okay? Unlike tennis, tennis, not very much. Okay, so we're doing that. We step with our opposite foot forward, not our same foot. Just like when we throw a ball, we always step with our opposite foot forward. So I'm right-handed, I'm stepping with my left foot. I'm gonna bend forward slightly at the waist, and I'm just gonna do like this with my wrist, just little back and forth motion. You don't have to hit it super hard. When we do this, which we can work on one of those serves later, but the beginning serve is right here. There's less room for error, less room for mistakes with this little motion like this, okay? Then we're just gonna drop the birdie. We're not gonna toss it up in the air. We're just gonna drop and flick our wrist, okay? Drop. Flick. Now you can see, I didn't swing hard at all with that, and it still traveled plenty far for a good serve. Okay, now at home, if you're practicing this at home, maybe you've got a badminton racket and a birdie, maybe you've got a set of them, mom and dad, brother, sister, whoever, grandma, grandpa can join and play too. That'd be a lot of fun. Set it up outside, we still have some nice weather. You never know in Minnesota, it could snow next week, but hopefully we've got some nice weather, okay? now. If you are by yourself, maybe mom and dad are busy working, which we certainly understand, right? They've gotta make money for the family. 
So if they're too busy and they say, just go outside and do it yourself, try and ask them. Maybe they've got a hula hoop you can practice with or a bucket like this. These are just from Home Depot. But maybe mom or dad have one of these in the garage or a couple of these in the garage. Practice serving into one. Make it a game. Make it a fun game for yourself. See if you're able to make it into one of those. Okay, so like if I serve from here, and remember, we always serve diagonal. See if I can land it in the hula hoop. Over the net. And it bounced out. No! Okay. Then I'll just walk over, and instead of just having it set up on one side, you'd want to have it set up on two outside if you can, because then that way, you don't have to just keep going to get it and walking back and hitting again. Now I can just hit from this side. So this time I'll try and land it inside the bucket. And I haven't been practicing this at all, but we'll see. Nope. Kind of close. But you get the idea. So that's what I want you to practice right now today, this week. Remember, if you don't have a badminton racket, you can try it if you've got a different kind of racket and you have a birdie, you can try that. Otherwise, just to get the basic motion and idea, you can ball up some socks and practice hitting that underhand with your hand. That's fine too. Otherwise, maybe mom and dad have always wanted to get a badminton set and just haven't thought about it. Maybe now's the perfect time, but maybe it's not. So there's no complaining. If mom and dad, grandma, grandpa say no, no complaining. But maybe they've, maybe they've always wanted one and this is just a good time for them to buy it so you guys can learn how to play as a family. Okay, I'm sure Amazon or Target, whoever, they probably have some pretty good deals going on for the end of the season. So check it out. Uh, and that was not a plug on Amazon or Target. If you like Walmart, whatever, do that too, okay? So, one more time. We're practicing. Opposite foot forward. You can choke up on the racket. Remember that means just sliding your hand closer to the face, the head of the racket. Pinch between your thumb and pointer finger. Put it out in front of you. And it's just a drop and a flick, okay? Drop, snap, drop, snap. And that one did not go diagonal, so that would not have been a good serve, okay? So, I hope you have fun with this. And real quick, we will talk about it later, but if you wanted to, you can also practice a backhanded serve. This is just a little, another variation of it if you're more advanced. And it's the same kind of movement, okay? Just like that, backhand, and you're just, it's all right here in the wrist, but we can talk about that more next time. So I hope you have a great week. Remember, if you're virtual learning right now, I've got a ton of workout videos on there. I do want you to pick one of those to get some exercise as well, and then spend some time working on badminton. If you do not have any of these things, um, and mom and dad say no, then I'd like you during your class time to get outside for at least half an hour a day. I would love 60 minutes a day, which is an hour of bike riding, walking, jogging, playing tag with you know your family, doing things that are active. Whatever makes you happy, you need to stay healthy, okay? I would love for you to stay healthy and just stay in good shape. Um, but I, most importantly, have fun when you're doing it, okay? So check out those videos. I will actually be labeling the videos by the date. So today is September 5th or 6th. I have to check 6th, I believe. So today is September 6th, so when I post a workout video later today, I'm just going to put September 6, 2020 on it, so that way you know what the most current and new workout video is. Alright everybody, I'm Mr. Campbell, I hope you have a great day, take care, see you soon.